Snooker originated in the late 19th century, during which billiards had been a popular game for the British army officers stationed in India. Army officers stationed in Jepalba during 1874 made a variation of billiards in which coloured balls were added. The term snooker derived from the army as well and was used to describe new cadets who were inexperienced. In the early 20th century the game had grown to become more popular and by 1927 it had become labelled as sport and the first World Snooker Championship had been organised by Joe Davis who was at the time a professional billiards player and an expert snooker player. The first fully televised World Championship was commissioned in 1978 and was shown to show the true potential of colour TV. In 1985 18.5 million viewers tuned in to watch the concluding frame of Snooker World Championship final between Dennis Taylor and Steve Davis. Since the loss of tobacco sponsors, the number of professional tournaments has gone down in recent years, as well as the prize fund. Hello and welcome to Snooker. In this documentary I shall be talking to you about Snooker and its popularity decrease in recent years. We have interviews from Steve Davis, Dave Norman and Lee Warner about their views on the sport as well. Since the 1990s, snooker's popularity has declined with 27% of the clubs in the UK closing down in 2009. And with lack of sponsors for competitions, £8,000 have been deducted in the prize money and has left the snooker world potless. Gosport is home to quite a few snooker clubs and I'm on my way today to talk to Stoke Snooker Club owner Dave Norman and Stoke Snooker Club player Lee Warner about their views on the sport and its popularity change. Um, well, Dan and Clark have been playing snooker for about six years, yep. but properly in competitions I've been doing Q-Stars for about four and a half to five years, so that's all around England and the south of Wales. Competition-wise, it's about four and a half, five years. Yeah. How's the popularity of the sport changed in the recent years then? Um, when I first started, it was all older players of the age of about 17, 18, but as the years have gone on, more younger players have decided to come into it, uh, younger age players to the age of six and seven and it's not just England, you've got such a wide variety now of Asian countries around there, China, everywhere, so a lot of more younger people coming into the game now than they were. Hey, thank you very much, Lee. No okay, so now we're going to go talk to Dave Norman upstairs about his views on running the snooker club. <laughs> Whenever snooker is on the television, then the sport is very popular. Um, the television drives the sport for grassroots as well as for um, clubs like ourselves. Um, in relation to uh, the loss of sponsorship by the tobacco companies, I think it has had an effect on it. And we've now got Barry Hearn, who's taken over as chairman of the World Snooker, um, who's trying to input more competitions to put it back onto the television, albeit through Sky Sports, but put it back onto the television, and that will raise its popularity with the general public. And everyone who likes to sit and watch the finals being played, unfortunately probably till late at night, but um, no, television does help the sport. In the 80s, snooker stars were like role models to uh, youngsters, yeah. advertising tobacco as well, quite a lot. Do you, do you think um, snooker stars have lost that popularity? or? Um, I actually think that snooker stars didn't want that type of advertisement to, to go through. They would just concentrate, they would practice, they would concentrate, and then they would come on and perform in front of the cameras in competitions. Because, of course, a snooker player will earn lots of money off the table. Um, away from competitions, I mean, but on the table. I mean, most players are residents at uh, snooker clubs. Most players, they get involved in pro-ams and different sorts of competitions which win them money. Um, and they're sponsored by um, companies um, to wear items of clothing and, and shoes and things like that. So the fact that the cigarette tobacco's gone um, isn't a, a loss to them, I don't think. 